All right, what is a cloud architect? Well, as you can see from the title of this channel, I personally am a cloud architect in my real life job. As I'm sure you know, just code is not enough these days to make full solutions to real world customer problems at scale. Most enterprise grade solutions are a combination of cloud computing solutions, third party SaaS products, open source tools, as well as custom code stacks that require robust, scalable hosting solutions. A cloud architect researches any variety of technology solutions and make plans to combine these different tools to solve business specific problems. I think one of the most confusing things about the architect title is that there are different types of architects. So to understand what a cloud architect does, I think it's easier to compare and contrast with a solutions architect. Solutions architects generally work for a cloud solutions provider. For example, you'll find solutions architects at AWS, GCP, Azure, or really any vendor that sells their software as a service to other companies or consumers. Solutions architects are at the end of the day still trying to help companies build solutions, but most of the time their role is to select a solution using the product the company they work for sells. I really like to think of solutions architects as an extension of sales for SaaS companies. In comparison, cloud architects generally work with a company that is potentially buying the product from the vendor. In my role as a cloud architect, I will often find myself in meetings evaluating solutions from cloud vendors that have been proposed by solutions architects. My job is to compare the many different solutions offered and be the technical advisor for my employer. After evaluating the proposed solutions, I make a technical recommendation on the approach that I feel will work best, keeping in mind all of the business objectives my employer has, including long-term maintenance, performance expectations, and licensing costs. Beyond just evaluating cloud solutions, it's also the cloud architect's job to think about the business-specific implementation details. This ensures the company gets exactly what they need to solve their problem without leaving out any detail in the design that the vendor simply may not have known about. Cloud architects need to be deeply knowledgeable about the tools and infrastructure a company already has. Nobody wants to buy something twice or buy something we could have built for half the cost. But being a cloud architect is more than just reviewing solutions and designing interconnected systems. Cloud architects need to also be able to take their plans and communicate them in multiple ways. Personally, I think communication skill might actually be more important than technical skill in this role. I mean, what is a good solutions plan and awesome architecture designs without having others in the company have any idea what the heck any of this stuff is? I think about my types of communications being broken into two different styles. Communication design for engineers and communications design for stakeholders. I spend about 20% of my day talking to different stakeholders about solutions to their business specific problems. In these types of meetings, it's important to listen carefully to the requirements and translate them into well-fitting technical puzzle pieces. After gathering details and designing solution, it's then the job of the cloud architect to explain the solution in a way that doesn't get too into the technical weeds while still covering all of the parts that actually solve the problems as originally stated. I will often create high level architecture diagrams that don't have a ton of detail just for this audience. I'll also discuss in detail the cost of the solution or a comparison of multiple approaches and the trade-offs involved so they can make an informed decision. Oftentimes I'll even give them a 30 second version of the solution that they can use as an elevator pitch when talking to others who might be interested. In contrast to communications to stakeholders, a cloud architect needs to also be able to communicate with engineering in a highly technical manner. While talking with engineers, they are going to be the ones actually making the thing that I design. If I miss any of the finer details, I could cause major delays down the road. It's also important to treat engineering meetings as more of a discussion and less of a presentation. Keep in mind that the cloud architect may be a walking tech encyclopedia, but it's certainly not an expert on most topics. Receiving feedback from engineers about unforeseen technical flaws in a design and making revisions based on their feedback is absolutely critical. Okay, honestly, I could keep talking about this subject for days, but this is supposed to be a quick overview of the job, so I'm going to leave it here. Subscribe to the channel if you want more on this topic, and leave a like to tell the algorithm that this video doesn't suck. Until next time, happy coding.